Hello everyone. I just wanted to do a quick video today about the Jada blankets for 2019. I'm not going to move my birds. Hopefully they won't chirp too much. Um, so I'll make, but this is just a quick video anyways. Uh, so all my Jada blankets for the 2019 full car blanket came out to three feet wide, which is okay for a small kid but not for a, a larger person. So I also felt like uh, I don't want to wait till the very end to do all the borders. I don't know if her December assignment is going to be a border, but you know what? If you've made afghans before, just put on a border. So here's what I did for my Jada 2019 folk art blanket. I did a border yesterday. I actually used up pretty much a whole skein of that new yarn I bought. So uh, anyhow, I will tell you what I did for the border. I will show it to you. You can use that. You can not use it. Doesn't matter. It just I just put a border on, and the border expanded the blanket from 36 inches wide to 42 and a half, which is a good width for just a uh, blanket. And of course it expanded uh, the height by six and a half inches as well, which means I have a three and a quarter inch border all the way around. So let me just show you what I did. So this is a pink border. Uh, let's see, well, let's see, we'll go this way first. And then we'll go this way. Okay, so across the top and the bottom is very easy because it's just you can just do a single crochet stitch for stitch, but then you get to the sides and it's not stitch for stitch. Now because it's all all the rows are double crochet, but if you put two stitches Per row that's gonna kind of ripple your border a little bit so what I did was I did I don't know if you can see there's two stitches and then one stitch and then two and then one two and one just alternate back and forth and it will give you a nice flat edge okay this is how I did it okay it's Two sing single crochet, then one, then two, then one, and so forth. And that's just for going up the sides. I had to close my door because the birds were chirping too much. So what I do is one single crochet row all the way around, then a half double crochet row all the way around, and then a, a uh, double crochet row all the way around. And then I changed colors. You see this little slider stripe here. Did single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet. Then I went back to this, this dark, and I did a single crochet, and then I did the uh, shell border. So this is going for a little girl. Now one thing that I saw that was very interesting uh, on a blanket that uh, the crochet crowd, Mikey, was uh, demonstrating was when you come to the corners and a lot of my corners on other blankets have been uh, where you you know you double crochet into the corner then chain a couple then double crochet and or you know whatever but there's like that chain space in the corner but what uh, Mikey did was he put like three stitches in the corner stitch and so every time you come to that to a corner you put in three stitches and then when you come back to that corner you find the middle stitch of those three and you put in three and so that's what I did all the way around and I tell you it made it so much easier putting on the shell border so anyhow this is now I would say it's a good size I'm going to do all my borders. I hope to do on the original six blankets. Uh, I'll try to get them all done this week and just uh, 
get those off my plate. So yeah, I'm excited. And I hope you have a good rest of the day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.